Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jojo's World. I'm Jojo, your host. And today, I would like you to meet a new found friend that I bought recently for, as a present for myself. Her name is Freda. Freda, meet everybody. Freda the Tarantula. Well, Freda with the scientific name is Davis Pentaloris. And, and um, Freda is what we call a new world tarantula. She's from Guatemala, so she's a Guatemalan tiger rump tarantula. And being a new world tarantula, Freda does not have medically significant venom. So come and watch, enjoy as we build and set up her new home. Halika na! Let's start! Welcome to Jojo's World! So first, here are all the materials that we'll be needing in setting up uh, Freda's new home. First, I would like you to see this is the kind of the condition of Freda's cage where I bought her in a pet store. And I bought her for 1,350 pesos. As, as you can see on the left side of the cage far back was Freda and she, I can see I would like to transfer Freda from here to this one to the glass cage that I bought in SM with a cocoa peat fiber that I'm gonna use as a mat or as a floor which we know that in the, in a wild they live in a forest at the ground of the forest and actually they're an ex, um, species known to be a dos docile but can be skittish at times and we'll be needing a cloth and alcohol and some sticks and a thong in which I can guide the tarantula or Freda later on and some sticks or a twig if you like and some fern, a plastic, I prefer plastic, okay? Let's go! The big question is how to break apart your coconut fiber brick. It's easy, let me show you how. First, get a bucket a pail and put your brick inside get at least a two liters of water and let it soak for 30 minutes or an hour and that's it simple as that you might ask what is this block made of uh, coconut fiber substrates are blocks made of from coconut compressed coir pits and coir dusts these blocks can be made out of different mixtures of coconut peats and coconut husks what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to break the bricks into small pieces, encouraging the, the fiber to absorb more water. As they say, rehydrate or hydrate and add more water if must. And so after getting the right consistency of thickness and uh, softness of the fiber, all you can do is get a container, an empty container, grab a handful of the fiber, squeeze it, extract the water out, and not too dry, not too wet, it's just enough to keep the uh, cage of the tarantula humid, humid, humid. So that's what I'm doing right now and set it aside. And if there's one thing that I've learned from my friends is disinfect, disinfect, disinfect all your tools and materials that you're using before and after in order to keep your animals or pets uh, happy and free from bacteria and diseases. After uh, disinfecting all the sides of the glass cage with, with alcohol using the mesh cloth a while ago, it's easier and it's safer for me now to put the substrate. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting a handful of the cocoa fiber, trying to squeeze it and extract some extra water. As you can see, there, uh, I did put some white pebbles at the bottom. That really helps for the drainage. If there's some extra uh, water, that will help and to keep the humidity leveled inside the cage as well. And I use half of the brick and so it gives me 4 inches of in height of substrate. And after that, I place the branch, the wood branch inside and the plastic plant. And uh, that's really optional, it's just for aesthetic purposes. And at the same time, it's a, it's a way for the spider or the tarantula to feel at home. And that's it! Tapos na! Ta -da! Finally, she has a new enclosure, Freda. I think Freda is gonna love and enjoy this new house of her. A new home for Freda.
and if you have a small cap cover you can always use that for their water to keep them hydrated and there you have it Freda's new glass home or house ganda diba? I like it I think I hope that Freda will like it too So thank you again for joining me in this fun and easy way building Freda's glass house. Only here at Chojo's World. Bye.